we're going to compute limit values using estimations, using values close to, in this case, zero. The problem with plugging in zero is you'd be dividing by zero. And if you look at the top, you'd get cos zero minus cos zero. So they'd be the same value. So it'd be one minus one, which is zero over zero. Now, if you have a polynomial, a lot of times you could factor something out and cancel it. Unfortunately, we do not have a polynomial in the numerator, so factoring and canceling is not an option. So what we're going to do is we're going to estimate values. Most problems in calculus are in radian mode. Now, the previous uh, video, I talked about radian and degree mode, how to know if you're in radian or degree mode. Excel is in radian mode by default, and I found that out by testing it out. Also, when we start to plug in these values, we're going to see precision being an issue. So let's go ahead and copy this function, and I'm going to paste it into Excel here. I'm putting it in the second column on purpose. Maybe I'll just label this f of x, and this will be x equals paste. Now I need to do some parenthesized numerator divided by put the denominator in parentheses as well. All right, what in the world's x? Well, Excel doesn't know what x is. Also, this minus sign, I believe, is not the right type of minus sign. So for me, it pasted in weird. You can see this minus sign's regular sized. Uh, oh, no. Come on. Fantastic. All right, we'll just repaste this in. All right, maybe I'll edit up here, even though it's smaller. So I'm parenthesizing the cos minus cos. The divided, the fraction line didn't come through. Now x squared, you could use the to the two, or you could do x times x. We have a major problem because what in the heck is x? Another thing you have to do is explicitly write in the multiplication symbol, which, which is the asterisk. The negative sign needs to be a proper minus sign. All right, is that should be? I think the name is complaining about is x. All right, so x we need to put. Oh no. All right, we need to put a value in for x. My first value is 0 0.2. And that means over here, I don't call it x. Uh-oh, I'll probably screw this up. So it's seven times. Now I'm gonna click on the A2 cell. I'm gonna go over here to this x and click A2 again. Go to this x. Now I can type in A2. Move the cursor over A2 and now hit enter, and you see a value here. I talked about decimal precision in the previous video. I'm gonna turn all these into numbers. And I believe my open math wants five places of precision by default, but we'll go ahead and crank this way up to there. All right. So here's the first value, I'll copy paste. And you can't hit this answer button, but I will. And you see right there, we got the same values all the way up to there. All right, I don't think they'll complain that I put more precision in. Okay, so next up, 0 0.1. So how do we do this quickly? Well, in Excel, if you highlight both of these, the cursor has to turn into a plus. It needs to be, they all look kind of similar. That's a white big plus. This is like four black arrows. This is a medium sized black plus. That's the one I want to be using. I'm clicking and dragging down. I guess nothing happened right there. All right, let's try this again. Clicking and dragging down. It should duplicate these. And it tries to use a pattern. So if you notice, what's the difference on the right? It went all from A2 to A3. And what's A3? It's this value here. The next value I want, 0 0.05. All right, there we go. So we have that computation, copy, paste. 
and you see that that value is not correct. Oh, that's because I put it in the wrong value. It should go down there. There we go. All right, now we'll do the point zero 0.01. Let's pretend I did this on purpose. I sort of did. So I'm going to duplicate this again. You want to be careful because I copied and pasted. This little spinny green cursor thing is going to mess things up. So I press escape a couple times to get out of that copy mode. And just drop it down. Point 0.1. All right, so that should be this value here. Okay, so we got those two. All right, we could just do the same thing and just keep going like that. Let's think about how to go from point one to point zero one. The, all these follow a pattern once you get to the point one. What pattern is it? Well, you divide each one by 10. So here's what I'm gonna do. On the right side, oops, again, I need to hit escape to get out of that copy mode. So I'm just gonna duplicate this down quite a bit, division by zero, the default value is zero if there's no value in here. So it's treating all these A5s like zero because there is nothing over here. And if I type in zero, you'll get the same uh, results, which is division by zero. Okay, I don't wanna put in zero. What I actually want is the line above divided by 10. So in this case, it's A4 divided by 10, enter, and look at that, I now have uh, 0 0.01 and now just on the left box I'm gonna drag the medium size black plus down and it should continue this pattern and you see right here it's dividing by 10 each time and you get a slightly different value the last one on this homework is 0 0.00001 Four zeros. So that's the last one right there. Let me just highlight that in a not obnoxious color. All right, so that's the last one. There is a reason, there's several reasons why it stops there. One is because you probably get annoyed unless you can build this table quickly like I just showed you. The other, the other thing is if you think about the precision, what's happening, you would think we're getting closer to a certain value, but after some point, obviously this pattern. This is not following the normal pattern. It looks like we're getting close to 47 point something. And then we're very far away from 47. We're over at zero. So estimates are not great uh, when you're limited by precision. So these would all be really bad values to use. They're not going to help you find the limit. All right. The last one is right here. And let's ignore what's down here. So I'm just going to make it kind of like a dark gray so we don't look at it. And I really want to stop looking at values at the green. So 22, that's a huge jump to 45. And it's a little weird, it goes down to 40. Oh, probably because these two should be ordered the other way, but that's fine. Let's just look at the pattern happening right here. 47.42, 47.499, 47 47.4999, 47.5000. What does the pattern look like here? Well, it looks like it's getting close to 47.5. And that is what we'll type here, 47.5. And there we go, that is our limit value. So again, you don't want to go too far with precision because at some point it's going to break down. You can see, barely see this one's 47.739. That looks like maybe it's going back up to 48. So at some point, the error that is introduced from estimation due to the limit of precision and limitations of precision is going to give you misleading values. So you do need to stop while you're ahead. And in this case, that would be, I guess I could have gone to one more step after what was listed in the table. Although even that next step, things are getting further from the actual value. So I think we did stop at the right step here. So I hope that helps in filling these tables out. I won't ask you to do this on a midterm because it takes too long and you really need some type of calculator or spreadsheet computational device.